doing today? Today what we're going to make at Nona's here in my house, we're going to make Tuscany steak with garlic roasted potatoes. I hope you enjoy it. I am still going to do that um, pasta basil for Shannon, but it's going to get cold again next week. So today I said, mm, let me do the steaks. Soup will be good for a real cold day. Um, my, my steaks have already been marinated. I already have my meats together. Um, which I told you is mise en place, and I'm going to start making the mixture for the potatoes. They're already cut up over here, so we're all set to go. I'm drinking Prosecco tonight. I love Prosecco. My girlfriends and I just love to have that while we're cooking. It's delicious. So let's get started. Okay, remember what did I tell you? We have to heat up the pan. No matter what, we have to heat up the pan. I'm going to start with the potatoes because they're going to take a little bit longer because, you know, we don't want steaks so done that they become tough. I'm using filet tonight. You could use anything you want. You could also do it on the grill. It's a little chilly still, so I'm not doing it on the grill. <laughs> so they've been marinating. I already roasted my garlic for my potatoes. That's already done. It doesn't take long. You just take the garlic. You can put it on a flat sheet if you want to do it quick and literally just take some olive oil, cover the garlic, put it in like 500 for less than like 10 to 15 minutes, check it when it's like soft, you have your roasted garlic cloves. Or you could do a whole one. I did a, I did a whole bunch of different ones because I needed them to be chopped up, so I saved myself a step. So that's great. And then this is called a mortar and a pistol. I don't know if any of you use this. When I do my fresh herbs that I dry out and somebody asked me last time do I have a, do I have a garden do I grow my own herbs yes I used to grow my own herbs all the time that was silly I'm starting out with wrong pan but it doesn't matter. Um, you can say hi to Troy hi Troy how are you and I'm um, Jack Webb from Florida's watching hi Jack how are you doing <laughs> And Jane Glover. Hey Jane, how are you? Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I have already marinated my steaks. They were really red, 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 but sitting out marinating, you know, they change color a bit, so don't worry about that. I'm taking some olive oil, I'm putting it in here, and I was gonna tell you about the mortar and pistol and how I use it. And yes, if Darren could just go over here for a second, I usually have some herbs growing right up here, but as you can see, they didn't make it this year. Uh, with uh, known as being open, I wasn't here to take proper care of them. So usually the answer is yes. But these are herbs that I grew that are either, as I showed you the other day, frozen or they're either frozen or they're um, dried out. Okay, so there's your... Time dried, dried out. I have some rosemary, some basil. Here's the time. What am I telling you? That's the time. It smells delicious. This is oregano. That's what this is. This is fresh oregano. It's delicious. Um, so, what we're going to do that's getting hot, we're going to start out using. Whoops. If you want to say a few more highs, we have Dina watching. Hi, Dina. How Marshall, are you? James. Hi, Marshall. Hi, James. And Troy says it's already looking delicious. Good. <laughs> okay, we're going to take some of these onions and we're going to stir fry them. I say stir fry, but we're going to cook them until they're translucent. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you while they're going, because I don't have to cook my garlic today because it's already roasted. So right now, I just got to get these a bit done. I'm taking a very small amount of butter and throwing that all in there also. And like I said, mortar and pistol is something that's been used throughout my family. Every, both of my daughter-in-laws, they get one. My sons, when they moved out, went to college, they get one. And it's the best way to take your herbs, and especially your dry herbs, okay? You put them in there, and you're gonna get this all mixed together this way and 
cause it all to infuse together. Get some parsley. And this is going to be for our potato, uh, potatoes. So this is in here. Yeah, you can have enough, enough oregano, some more thyme, and there is rosemary in there. I'm taking my basil. I'm squeezing it out. Because you remember when I told you what I did? I, I froze my basil. So you put that in there. And then I'm going to take a few of my spices. This is like a mixture of spices. I'll put it up. And that's in there. And then I'm going to take a little bit of pepper. That's in there. I like pink salt. So I'm just going to take some pink salt, put it in there. You know, the Himalayan salt. And we're going to put a little more of the spices. And I don't know why this is taking so long. I'm trying to see if this works quicker. I'm trying to see if this works quicker than using my stove. Which drives me crazy, as I told you. So let's see. Oh, there's deer all out front. Wish you guys could see that. Um, so what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to just literally, it's like I'm a little pharmacist here, just mash them all together. Get them really well blended. Because it's a nice, it's a nice way to make a nice little mixture. Open up the pores of your Spices and herbs. I don't know if you can see that. That's the herbs and spices. You just, to make it fast, you, you know, go like this. Now you have a lovely blend without trying to blend it. And you let them, they start to merge together. I'm going to take a little bit of this olive oil. Put it over these potatoes just while they're waiting. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe I better go back to the stove. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Okay, so much for that. <laughs> this is what happens when you're live, you try things and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So, steak and potatoes would be more of your northern. Um, Tuscany, yes, because I'm using Tuscany flavors, but, you know, as I told you before, you get a lot of potatoes more in that region. So, is there any questions anybody has or any other suggestions that you want me to make? I am going to do the pasta bazool. Can you think of anything? In the meantime, while we're waiting, you can say hi to your mom. Hi, mom. And Emily and Karen. Hi, Emily. Hi, Karen. How are you? And Where are you all from? And we have Barb and we have Danko. Barb and who? Danko. Danko. Hi. How are you? And where are you all from? Where are you from, Barb? I know Dean is from South Dakota. <laughs> And Erin is hot. Erin is on. Hi, Erin. Like I said, most food is peasant food, but obviously a filet mignon would not be considered a peasant food. <laughs> but we're locked in and cleaning out that freezer. <laughs> How many are you just inventing things of what you have in your cabinets. Are you reinventing anything? That's what I like to do. Just take whatever I have and make something. Dina is asking what you're drinking and she said it's such a pretty glass. It's a Waterford glass and it is called Prosecco. It is so good. They have these little splits right here. Um, and we carry this. We have it in splits in the whole bottle, but it's just me, so. I decided to do a split. <laughs> Speaking of wine, I was going to tell you what really goes nicely with this. It's a big red wine. This is Melbach. This would go really, really nice. 
Bourdain would really go, Bordeaux would go really great. And um, I was trying to think of one more. There's one more that I was thinking. Um, not a Pinot. Yeah, a Zinfandel would go even. But um, I'll think about it. It'll come to me. In the meantime, Josh and Margo are on with Weston and Jays. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I love those little boys. I'll tell you a story about Josh. He's probably going to say, Miss M. That's what he calls me, Miss M. Josh used to come over to my house when we lived in Florida. And Josh loved olive vodka sauce and big ziti. And he really liked chicken also and eggplant parmesan. So now he's grown. He's a very successful man. He has a beautiful wife, two brilliant two gorgeous children and um recently i went to visit them last year and i got the pleasure josh said miss sam please could you make alavaca sauce and i was so happy to see them so happy about it and their children even ate it so i was really excited because you know little kids alavaca sauce don't worry we cook the vodka out <laughs> <laughs> so here's the potatoes getting started and they have two great grandparents Susie and Jeff. And now, okay, so now see that's in there. These potatoes, I pre-cooked them because as it is, I don't know why the onions took so long today. I told you this is my favorite knife, my ulu. If you ever go to Alaska, make sure you get one. There's some really bad ones that aren't as good that are on, you know, the internet. But if you look for the Alaskan made ones, usually you'll do okay. So so Barb wants to know who's doing your nails now that K Nails is closed. <laughs> oh, it's making me really sad. Um, I miss them. I have to be honest. It's a really bad confession. These are press on. It's the saddest day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been cleaning. I've been cleaning. Donald's is saying you can smell it from your And we'll get it right this time. Justin from Florida is watching. Hey, Justin, thanks for giving me another shot. I'm so sorry that I messed up last time and I thought you were a different Justin. Now I know who it is. He's a wonderful person. He works for NASA. Okay. Kind of one of those dumb guys, you know? <laughs> I'm putting in the roasted garlic. So Troy is saying that he works for Southern Wine and Spirits. He sells Italian Prosecco called... Cavicielli, if I'm saying that right, Troy. Cavicielli. And he said it would go great with that meal. Oh, I think it goes good with everything, to be honest with you. <laughs> Give me a call. Maybe we'll get some for Nona's. I would, I'm never opposed to another Prosecco. Okay, so you see the garlic is in there? Now, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. I am going to add a little bit of this seasoning blend that I have. And I'm going to add the tiniest bit. I'm going to let it, actually I'm going to let it get a little brown. You want those potatoes, I don't know if you can see them. They're starting to get brown. You can do this in the oven too. Like if you have more time and you're not trying to like bore everyone to death. <laughs> You can do these in the oven. You can take them raw and do this whole blend and just put them on a cookie sheet and cook them. Um, I also put a little bit of um, red pepper, just a dash. And once these start getting a little bit brown, I think I can start my steak now. Once these start getting a little bit brown, actually I'm going to switch you. Gary Latin is on, and he said, sorry, he caught us a little late. That's okay, Gary. We, you can watch it again, but we're making Tuscany steak tonight and garlic roasted potatoes. And we're just getting the garlic roasted potatoes, just a teeny bit more. Blonde. Now I'm putting this on to heat up. It did heat up, but then you know what happened. So it's heating up. I've already done my spice. There's some red pep. There's some crushed ground pepper on this. 
fresh oregano. There's um, a teeny bit of a mixture of seasonings. I have some rosemary on it, and I told you already, oregano, and a little black pepper, which that's the other thing I forgot to add to this. How could I forget that? I thought they looked a little too white. So that's cooking right now. So as I let this cook and get up to a good temperature, because you want to get that steak nice and seared. You hear that? We're not going to do this well done. I understand a lot of you like to stay all different ways, but this is probably closer to a rare. Maybe I'll go medium rare, but it's not really the best way to have a filet. Don't move it too fast because it'll stick, okay? Lower your heat when it starts getting ahead of it. Just let it start to simmer. So did anybody take a walk today even though we're in lockdown? My husband went mountain biking. Also because I've marinated this, it's already started to cook a little. So I'm not going to, oh and I rubbed olive oil on it. I should have said that to make sure that the spices stick to it. So how many people have been to Italy? Or New York, Little Italy? We'll see as the answers come in. Say hi to Tracy, um, Tracy Young. Hi, how Tracy. And Melissa Garris is on. Hi, wish I could have you all over for dinner. The other night I made so much I couldn't even get through it. Nor could Darren. So as this is cooking in the back, as I told you, I am going to add, for color, a little paprika. I just think it looks better. I'm all about look. Making it look presentable. You see it's starting to fry. Making steak inside is not the neatest one, okay? But we're going to get these things nice. You see, you can already see, like, this one is already, the blood is already coming to the top. You see how soft and tender they still look? Are you noticing that? It's really cool. Normally, I would be making a vegetable. I'd be making a vegetable like broccoli, asparagus, things like that. Honestly, I've got to take it and get it ready. But one day I'm going to do a bunch of sides. I think that'll be a fun thing to do. That way you can do... Um, how about chicken piccata? Does anyone want to learn how to make chicken piccata? Does anybody want to learn that? Chicken piccata? Um, I love paper. Ashley is on, watching with Ella. Ella says hi. Hi, Ella! Oh, I miss you, baby girl. How you doing, honey? And Jody Pickett is on, hi, as Jody. well as Christina. And hi, Christina. How are you? Okay, so what I'm going to do, and just so you know, you're going to see what I'm going to do with the base of this pan. Do you see all those yummy, yummy herbs? Like, if you could smell it in here, I mean, Darren could attest to it. It definitely smells I, good. <laughs> the smell of the fresh herbs is just unbelievable. Jack oh. Webb is asking for medium rare, please. Okay, who's asking? Jeff. Jeff, medium rare. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the medium rare for you, Jeff. It's almost there. Do you know the way to test steak? Does everybody know that? Rare, medium, medium rare, well done. That's how you test steak, by touching. So when you feel this, you can see it's still pretty rare, which is what we want it. We don't want it to be shoe leather. I don't know if anybody knows that little trick. 
Have you been taking turns? Have you been running out of groceries? Wait, are you all stocked up? Hopefully we won't have to stock up too much longer. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. I really would love to get back. I mean, we were open 43 days. It was fantastic. So I'm really going with some withdrawal. So I'm just trying to brace all sides. I'm going to check this and see. I think we're pretty darn close to perfection. Remember when you take your steaks off? These are little pieces, I know, but it's just Darren and I. When you take your steaks off, they are truly um, going to still cook a little bit. So don't go too far. Now I'm going to do, this is called the fond, the bottom of this. It's called fond, it's the foundation. That's what it's called in French. You know, it every day, but they were doing the mudding and the taping, and you know how that is. It's just. Dusty, <laughs> like the oh. war zone. Uh, it, it's just really dusty, so it's not. It, it's coming. It's coming along great, but it'll be ready though. It'll be ready. We're working on some recipes. Do you see how now these potatoes did look? So they're pretty much done. So I'm just going to shut them off. While this is reducing, you're going to reduce that a little. I'm also going to add balsamic and let that reduce. And I might, just because I'm me, a little more spice. I think that's it. And I think we're just going to wait for that to reduce. And then we're going to have some really good steak. I have a son that lives in New Orleans. His name is Darren, like my husband, and uh, he just did a show today that was pretty amazing about the produce there. They had like $300,000 worth of produce, and they're actually serving the cooking industry um, for free, and then they're also making boxes that you can have set up, and they put all these vegetables in it, and you can pick them up, and they do, you know, safe distancing, and... He's on A Bit Wild, that's the name of his show, uh, A Bit Wild, and he is a bit wild. We could, we could put a link to it yeah, on our, put a link on our to page. Yeah. And then um, I have two sons, three grandchildren, and just about that I wanted to say, um, everybody thinks my name is Nona, my name is Nancy. Nona is um, grandma in Italian, so I answered it either one, but I wanted people to know that. And um, it's just a little trivia for you. And as you can see, it's getting thicker. Remember how watery it was? So I turned it up a little just so that we can get it to move a little better. And as I told you, do you see how easy it is when your mises are right here? Do you see how much easier? Imagine like you, gotta, you have to go eat dinner and you're just sitting there and now this is all you got to clean up. Hey, Jeff, did you get any of your projects done? Ella, are you still reading all your books? Ella has a little TV show, and she's been doing story time. She's only five, and she's already doing story time. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Ella gave you a thumbs up. All and right. And Tate is on. And he said, Nancy, I love you. <laughs> Tate, I love you too, Tate. I love you so much. You're such a wonderful friend and employee. Now look at the way that that reduced. See how watery it was? It's going to be delicious to pour over. Okay, so we have this all shut down now. I am going to show you the steaks. I'm trying to, I'll show them to you over here. I'm going to cut one just to see before I... Go on to the next. It's a little more done than Jeffrey would want at this bigger one, but it's looking pretty good. I should have used a fork. Well, I would say that's pretty good. How do you say, Jeff? Kind of a nice red center. Cook through outside. 
If Darren's going to eat any of this, I'm going to have to cook it until it's dead because that's how Darren likes his meat. <laughs> but now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to take this very pretty glaze and I am going to pour it over the top. And then, so you have a nice plated meal. I'll use my other goobeen, as I explained to all of you what the goobeen was. <laughs> so behave. Jeff says it's perfect. Good. I'm gonna put some of this, the potatoes. Is this a good size plate for you, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Vicki Furnish says it looks delicious and you look cute. Thank you, Vicki. I love you guys. Vicki Furnish, she has the, um, her and her daughter own the wine and bean and they're very good friends of ours and I just want to give a shout out to them and I can't wait till we're all back to normals because when I'm off at Nona's, I'm going to go to you. Yeah, the bean and vine. To have something on the bean and vine. You know, Wednesday's Wines Day with the girls. <laughs> Rick and her and her daughters and it's a wonderful family. You want to make it look a little bit fresher. You can always just put a little parsley. Always looks a little prettier. Simple meal. It didn't take us that long. Wipe your edges, clean your edges. And there you go. It's a great meal. And so I'm gonna do my thing that I always do. I'm gonna taste a piece of the meat. Okay, here we go. Really good. Mm, piece of the potato. The meat does just literally melt in your mouth. I would do a salad with this or I would do broccoli, but it's really good. Try it. Till next time, send me your suggestions. Tell me what you want. Um, tell me some fun things you're doing while you're in lockdown. Are you bakers? Do you like to bake? Are you um, experimenting? Hopefully you can try some of my recipes. Um, you can always modify things. Just remember to taste. But I will give you this recipe. I know I'm behind. I did not put yesterday's on. But I promise I'm going to put both of them on. Okay? Well, thank you. Manja. <laughs>